Installing and using Spider 2 Pro with Windows 10. Intel UHD 620 graphics were used for the calibration demonstration. Before beginning, create a system restore point. Or, a full drive image backup. Follow the instructions carefully and detailed support information is to be found at displaycal.com. You will need the original installation CD, a Spider 2 or newer colorimeter with the LCD baffle, place the CD-ROM in a drive. Do not run the program, and dismiss any error message. The installer may prompt you to load the driver during installation. Be sure the LCD baffle is correctly installed. Clean the rubber ring, and handle the unit very carefully around your screen surface. In order to load the Argyle CMS drivers during installation, we will need to reboot our computer with driver signature verification disabled. Press the Windows button. Press the Power button. While holding down Shift, press the Restart button. The computer will reboot, and you will be presented with this screen. Press troubleshoot to continue. On the troubleshoot screen, press advanced options. Under Advanced Options, choose Startup Settings. In Startup Settings, you will need to press the Restart button to access the options. When you have reached startup settings, press F7 to reboot with signature verification disabled. This is a one-time procedure. When you are back on your home screen, open your graphics control panel. Reset to your default color settings. Apply your settings. Store your settings. Set your display brightness to 50% to estimate your white point. Different monitors will have different approximate starting points. White point can be adjusted further during colorimeter setup. Install Display Cal. The developer suggests creating a new folder for your Display Cal installation. You can create a new folder named Display Cal in your C root. Now open the DisplayCal application. Connect to the internet, and automatically download the Argyle CMS drivers. Note, if you have restarted your computer any time during this process, 
you will need to run the unsigned driver boot up again. Allow the installation through Windows Firewall, if this message appears. Go to Tools, Instrument and enable Spider 2 colorimeters. If you have not already placed your original Spider 2 installation CD in a drive, do so now, and dismiss all messages that come up, including errors. Press Auto to load the USB drivers. Plug in the colorimeter and let it warm up. Click the circular button to identify and load the instrument. Press Auto, and the profiling software will load from the CD. If you have a touch screen, be sure to disable it in Device Manager before mounting the instrument. Disable any other color management programs such as Adobe Gamma and Calibrize in the startup menu. Dim your room lights and press Calibrate and Profile. Position the sensor carefully with the LCD baffle attached. Start measurement. Display Cal will now fix the white and black curve endpoints. When it reaches the gray patch, the start measurement button will illuminate. Press it to start the white point measurement. The program will now measure the primary color values. Check the white point and line it up with the arrows using the Windows display setting. The scopes will continue to update in real time. Do not go higher than the arrows, or you may get an error later.
set the red slider to the arrows using the color controls. The blue may not need to be adjusted, nor will green have any overall effect. Now, back off the red halfway, or overshoot will result. Minus 15 is our sweet spot from previous tests, so we'll start there. Although this older instrument is not indexed for newer displays, these settings will give a nice balance for critical work. Use your own slight variations to match the daylight Kelvin temperature at your altitude. Plus or minus 2 makes a big difference. Press stop measurement, then continue to the main calibration. Do not turn on any room lights during the 90 minute process. Relax while the calibration makes three passes, fine-tuning the calibration curve each time. Apply the profile per user, or as the system default. Press don't install to return to the initial calibration screen. Note, it can take about 90 seconds to apply the custom profile at boot up. Windows profile settings are found by typing color management into search, below. Check for grayscale differences below. The calibration graph shows your results. Setting red to minus 16 will result in a higher color temperature and a cooler screen. You may want to set the red a little higher if you are near sea level. Thank <laughs> you.